Jack, is the body language you're speaking the key to finding a partner? You may not know it, but author Deborah King says it absolutely is. She's the author of Truth Heals, What You Hide Can Hurt You. Welcome. Thank you. Now, you say there's some quick tips that people can use to help them snag a partner. What are they? Oh, absolutely. You know, and I think a lot of women know these instinctively. Um, smile. I mean, that's number one. You always want to be smiling and, and conveying openness and reception uh, to someone else's ideas with your palms open and your your arms uncrossed. This this is just signs that you know that you're willing to uh, take in their information and their um, and their presence. Now, what about body language indicating that that your relationship is in trouble? There's there's several signs there too, right? Oh, there are a lot of signs, and this is another thing I think that gals know instinctively more so than men. You know, does he look away when you're talking? Does he tap his fingers all the time? Um, is you're out in a restaurant and he's looking at everybody but you? You know, there are just so many signals. Does he turn his body away uh, when you lean toward him? Perhaps he leans away. Now, you follow celebrity news very closely, right? I do. And, and of course, there, there are a lot of celebrities that we follow. Um, talk about some of the photos that uh, that we're going to see. I think uh, one of them, what do we have? Uh, there we go, Barack and Michelle. Well, that's a, that's a classic example of a couple that's really getting along. And I think it's one of the reasons why we like them so much. You, you know, they, they hold hands, they lean toward each other. Everything about them signals uh, communication and openness with one another. Okay. And then uh, Mel Gibson and his uh, soon-to-be ex-wife of 29 years, Robin Moore. What do you what do you see there? I think it's obviously not a, a very recent photo, but uh, any. You know, it's such a sad case. It's really I feel so so badly for them. Uh, I think you can see distance even in this photo. Some emotional distance between them. Mm, okay. What's indicating that to you? Just the way that she's she's leaning away from him a little bit and trailing behind. Gotcha. Like she doesn't really maybe want to be there. And and one of the most famous, probably the most famous couple in the world, Brad uh, Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Well, the Brandolinis are fun to watch because they're always posing, the both of them. They're like a, a, a setting an image, but not individually, but more as a unit. Okay. And uh, what do we have next? That's Tom and Katie. Tomcat. Right. Another couple that is posing as a unit, trying to convey an image uh, of success, of, of uh, celebrity. But not necessarily real? That's not too real. Uh, so much what I see with the Tomcat is his, his dominance, and she's not that thrilled with it. Hmm. And what indicates to you there? Is there's, it lots kind of of, there's lots of little signals uh, with body language. Look how she's pulling away right now instead of th this isn't an Obama moment she's mm. not really with him she's he's leading very much and she's not that uh, eagerly following and there's been all sorts of rumors that that marriage was <laughs> kind of arranged there too but uh, that's a quite a bit of control going on in that relationship and and the last one uh, Drew Barrymore and uh, the Mac guy the uh, the Apple uh, the Apple guy you know they're on and off again all the time and I think they're young and they're struggling to make it happen but um, here it looks to me kind of in between, like maybe it will and maybe it won't. Okay, we have about a minute left. I want to talk about your new book, uh, Truth Heals, What You Hide Can Hurt You. You talk about how past traumas and, and kind of painful, uh, deep-seated emotions in people can really affect how they're feeling now, even though they may be physically healthy, um, or, or their immune system, I should say, may indicate they're healthy they're really not what we do with our stuff the, the things that we haven't really resolved you know maybe it's a bitter divorce or a broken heart whatever it is we if we don't deal with it we push it down inside our body it's going to come back later to haunt us it's those lies we tell ourselves that really cause the most damage and and you had your own personal experience with this right absolutely that's how I got started on this back when I was a young attorney um, I didn't want to think about my difficult childhood and so I dealt with it with coping mechanisms like you know alcohol and and Valium though that's that's why I coped until I finally I got cancer when I was 25 and that started me on a whole path of discovering my own truth so now what I do is I help other people find theirs and you're going to be speaking in San Diego this weekend, right? Right, on Sunday uh, at the I Can Do It conference here in town. Okay. Deborah King, the author of Truth Heals, What You Hide Can Hurt You. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. And for more information, you can just go to our website, sandiego6.com. Well, it's a fresh